Hey guys, my name is Russian Badger, and did you catch it? I don't think you caught it. I think I caught it, and you didn't catch it. But in case you missed it, in that intro clip, for some reason, that bush monster tried to kill me with a tracer dart. I don't know how that works. Yeah, he headshotted me too. It's like, bush monster, what are you attempting to accomplish here? You're trying to kill me with a piece of equipment that is non-lethal. So I don't understand exactly what you're attempting to do, but it makes me laugh, so... And for some reason, just lately, I felt so much remorse for bush monsters. They look like these bushy pandas that just lurk, lurk in the the foliage of the of the maps, and they're like these innocent little panda bears that are going extinct. And I feel so much remorse for them for some for some weird reason. I feel as if there's some sort of animal that's that's dying out, and I have to feel sorry for them. But yes, I know you guys are gonna are, are gonna tell me I don't approve your conduct, and that's mainly because clearly the audio's off. And look, okay, gonna get stick a C4 there, stick a C4 there, and skadoosh! And I also get the other guy with the Thompson. And you didn't hear any of it. You're gonna hear all of it in about two seconds here. Isn't that goofy? I know you're gonna scream at me. I know you're gonna scream at me and get really, really mad, but I really can't fix it, and the the best part is it fixes itself. As I get this guy, pizza sauce, enjoy that one, and put away the auto shoddy, because clearly the grotch is superior to your catfishery with that stupid Sega, or you, Sass. I, I really didn't get a glimpse of what it was, but these guys were all using Segas and and dat 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 you sass and I am so lucky that he was damaged. Skadoosh! Say goodbye to your big burfa tank. I was so lucky that he was damaged because oftentimes I can't get an entire tank at full health. One stick of C4. I only had one stick left, obviously, because I already got that catfish on the balcony with two sticks, so I only had one left. Because clearly, three minus two is equal to one, and I only had one left. In case. In case you didn't know that, which I clearly did not need to explain that to you. That's so conspicuous, I should not have even explained that, but I really need some help as to what I should be saying here. I get the engineer crouch walking like like a boss, like an MLG Pro, and okay, I'm out of bullets, basically, so because get my kill stolen, but a one and a, a, a two and a, a, a three. Don't try to revive him, bro. Now, what do I say now? What am I supposed to say? Kilimanjaro, Kiltacular, Overkill, what do I, I don't know which one I'm supposed to say, because I, I, I get so confused about those Halo kill streaks. I mean, there's so many, and I don't know which one goes with which amount of kills. Like, is it Overkill or Killing Frenzy? I, I've never understood which one it was, but the one thing that I do know is the best one, the best one ever, is Killionaire, and that's, that's my favorite one, I think. Actually, you know what, I like Kilimanjaro quite a bit, but... That makes Halo so much more entertaining. I think I can easily say that the one game that I love watching other than Battlefield is Halo. Halo is so fun to watch. I don't know if a lot of you agree with me, but that is just the way that I feel. And this was sort of a, a goofy match, if you ask me. I, I don't mean to d display this to you in Dragon Ball Z terms, but let's just say our power level was over 9,000, and their power level was around 8,990. But since they're defending, and my team was full of Carls, that they gained that extra 10 points, so it's basically 9,000 versus 9,000. But then again, I get an extra point for me being on the team without sounding pretentious, just so I can make it over 9,000. So, because it needs to be over 9,000. And I guess giving my own team a point for me being on the team is enough to boost us over the 9,000 mark, to make it over 9,000. Now... Beyond that, yes, I am using the Thompson, and no, it's not as bad as you think it is. I know a lot of you give each other a little bit of grief, like, you're only cool if you can use the tie. I, I feel like there are some token weapons in this game where I say, if you are good with those, you are a good player. For example, people that can exceed with a T-88, or like the, the Garand, if you can do well with a Garand, you are a great player. I can easily say that, as you get the Nemesis pin on this guy. And for some reason, I never like the Nemesis pin. Because I get the bird, you know the hawk, what is it, a hawk, some sort of bird of prey? I would rather have the Avenger pin. You guys know the Revenge pin? It, it's a snake, it's like it's like Arbok, the Pokemon. It's the, uh, what is it, is it a cobra? I'm pretty sure it's a cobra, but it, the Avenger pin looks a lot better than the Nemesis pin, which didn't make any sense. I know it's kind of, on a personal whim, it's more my arbitrary choice of me liking cobras more than I like birds of prey, but anyways... It was sort of difficult on this, on the second base was not as difficult as the third base, but the third, no, excuse me, the fourth base. The fourth base was just impossible, but I am a little bit more aggressive in this game than I usually am. Nice, don't try to knife me. Enjoy your pizza sauce. Please do not try to knife me. And a lot of you have been asking me lately, what do you think about the knife? Like, 
does it really anger you? Does it truly anger you when you get killed by the knife? And I have to say no. I mean, for the most part, no. If somebody commandos me across the room, it's and it's ridiculous, like, I will hate that, okay? I get really, really angry. Or, you know what? You know what's my, my absolute pet peeve right now? Sometimes, sometimes there is this thing where they will knife you when they're not even facing you. It's like they're giving you a bear hug, but it's with their back. It makes no sense whatsoever. I don't know if you guys have experienced or suffered through this like I have, but there is this weird knife going around. It's like a plague. Like, like look at this. Okay, I'll, I'll get killed here. Clearly, you just knifed me when you were ahead of me. You, you like swiped in air and you killed me somehow. How does that work? I really, truly do not know how that works, okay? Do not know how that works. Ah, uh, did you catch it? I don't think you caught it. I don't think that you caught it, but I did the old, the old fakie with the motion sensor. You know, you know where it's, it's like, all right, bro, okay, bro, Chacho, you thought I threw the sensor, but secretly I didn't throw the sensor. It's like a fakie. It's like those, those players in Modern Warfare 2 that pull off those amazing 1080 no scope ladder stall YY fakie. And I know a lot of you might say, you know, those shots in Modern Warfare 2, those takes no skill whatsoever, it's total luck. Well, you know what, that's a lie. You shut your whore mouth and stop your lies, because that's clearly no luck involved. It's completely skill-oriented, and I think we all know that. Because we all know Modern Warfare 2 players are so elite, you don't even understand. Like, they are so completely baller, you need to get on their level, okay? You really do. Just, just to, I don't make you, I don't want to make you feel bad, but... Look at how many hit markers I get. That just makes me laugh, okay? And I think I get the medic, but that just makes me laugh. Like yesterday on Cold War, look at this guy. This makes me laugh as well. His name is GTFO Noobs, and he's on the UAB. Doesn't make any sense, Carl. Carl, what are you doing on the UAV when your name is GTFO Noobs? I don't understand. The irony is going to make me perish. But look at this little gypsy trick over here. Come in, are you? Look, he's gonna... I'm gonna hide in the corner like an MLG Pro. Oh, well, you wanna play that game, bro? Well, go on right ahead. Skadoosh! Look at him fly over there. Oh, and somehow got him. I don't know how I got somebody. From that range with a Thompson, after taking damage from my own C4, I was extremely happy when that happened. I have no idea how... You see, sometimes you just wanna say, you know what, if I don't hit you in the head, I know I'm gonna die. And that's... I mean, it's fairly conspicuous and obvious information, like, yeah, the trick is you want to shoot him in the head, and somehow this guy didn't kill me fast enough. And, uh, say hello to my garage, kind sir, say hello. And, you know what, I've been oscillating quite a bit, I, I haven't really picked between the 1911 or the, or the garage. I, I think the garage always, it's always better off for me, and, oh, where's your Sega now, bro? Where's your Sega now, bro, Chacho? Oh yeah, it's gone, because you got headshot. And I'm not gonna go really in-depth, like, Headshot! I don't want to go too in, te too in depth with that because I feel like I'm rubbing it in. And I don't want to sound too pretentious or conceited or make me making myself sound as if I'm more important than I actually am because I'm clearly just a Carl that's, that's killed by somebody else with a Thompson, which is awful. And I decided to jump out of the tank here and I switched to smoke on an M16 because I said, you know what? My team isn't moving up. And it's really weird to switch from an... Uh, from the from the Thompson to an assault rifle, it was so goofy because assault rifles kill very very quickly compared to the to the Thompson. So I'm mowing a few people down. And I said, you know what? I am just gonna I'm just gonna rush it. I'm just gonna put some smoke down and rush the objective. Now most of the time, I would not recommend that because that just gets you shot in the face, and I can easily tell you that. It's I I am not really hesitant to tell you that that is how you get shot in the face. And I had to pick up the medic kit because. Circle is switch kits and arm at the same time, which is a little bit of a Carl move if you ask me. But anyways, I get the medic and I get mowed down. I was shot at some sort of invisible man that didn't even exist, so I decided just to sit here and hope that nobody came to defuse. Although, although I do get hit here, check this out. We get it done. Somehow. With less than 15 tickets. And that's basically what you have to do. I mean... Yes, you can easily say, and what are you doing, Rash and Medic, staying on our, our heavy MG? That's a great idea, only except not at all, and get another emotion sensor out. And yes, my... Okay, I need to explain this guys to you, or explain this to you guys. Okay, I was at a friend's house last weekend, and he has a, an absolutely amazing PC. We were playing Bad Company 2 on it, and he was trolling me, trying to convince me that they were emotion sensors. Like, they sensed the enemy emotions. How weird is that? He's like, yeah, you can easily tell because if they're really happy, 
they'll show up on the radar as some sort of orange triangle. But if they're really sad, they're probably crying in a corner and not moving, so they don't show up on the radar. But look at this guy. Look at this guy. I hope a giant swarm of moths eat all your favorite cotton sweaters, you catfish. Why would you ever use the Sega? Now, I'm not complaining, but at the same time, look at this catfish. I really don't like you. I can easily say that I don't like you. And it really does seem like the only way to get around auto shotties is just to headshot people with your 45. Like, you get the engineer in, enjoy your headshot. Enjoy it. Because even if you do have a USAS or a Sega, you can headshot it with a 45 after a few shots have already been in your chest section. You're going down. And at that, on the same topic, I have had a real problem lately figuring out which pistol I need to use. It's so difficult for me for some reason. It's like whenever I start using the, the 1911, whenever I start using the 1911, it's like, bro, Chacho, why would you ever use any other pistol? This pistol's amazing. Like, why would you, why would you ever use the Grotch? And then as I use the 1911 exclusively, it's like, you're missing a bunch. Why would you not use the Grotch? It's got 17 shots. And I think I'm almost rolling with the, the Grotch exclusively now. It's like, you know what? 17 shots, bro, Ohio. How are you going to miss? There's no way you're going to not kill the guy. 17 shots, if you, if you miss 17 shots, put down your controller and go sit on your hands. Just just do it. Like, there's no way, you, you there's no excuse for you not killing a guy when you have 17 grotch rounds. No way. But at the same time, you don't have to be extremely accurate with a 1911. It's like, bro, you know what? I can hit a dime from 2.5 million miles away blindfolded in the dark. It's not that kind of accuracy. Like, you don't need overwhelming accuracy but what do you know I get killed by the garage I want to feel like sometimes I can't always rapid fire I mean I, I have to have my hands warmed up quite a bit to really rapid fire the garage but I don't really need that with the 1911 because obviously it's has such a high power now I know you guys are very observant unlike these two gentlemen over here oh look Carl number one and Carl number two Give me a sandwich, in. Uh, give me a damn sandwich. Oh man, two of them sitting right there. And yes, I did have to knife them because there's other there's other enemies directly ahead of me. And I really said, let's not alert them to my presence. That would be a bad idea. That's unintelligent. So let's uh, not do that. And yet again, I mean, I had to do it. I had to switch to smoke because I said, you know what? I'm not going to lose this game. I have not come this far to lose this game. And I did some sort of segment where I just tank hoed for about three minutes and I got hit in the back or the backside with that with that mounted AT and then obviously that's a one hit kill. For some reason that's a one hit kill. No one knows why, but and I don't know what the black magic or witchcraft like this is straight witchcraft, okay? Look. As soon as I put smoke forward, somehow my teammates are magically motivated to move forward. I don't know how it works. I really truly do not know how it works, but somehow they just gathered this, this overwhelming motivation to move forward in our objectives and you see I stopped you see I stopped for a second because I thought he was already dead it's like bro chacho there's no way you took that many bullets and are still alive so I stopped but luckily I gained my senses back and I finished him off before he killed me which is quite wonderful by the way now you know what the sad part is although I do get this guy he takes quite a few shots because he is one tough muffin now yes look same guy respawn and the joke is on me, because he gets to respawn. But you know what? Although the joke might beat on me temporarily, clearly the joke is on him, because I respawn and we got the objective. So, And yet again, this is the kind of games that I love, where I'm, without sounding pretentious, I know I'm not, I'm not the best player, but I like to think that I can kind of lead my team in, in some way. And I don't even like saying that, because I say pff, I could lead my team, and then I... I go up against really good players and I just get owned. Yeah, I get owned when I go against good players. Like, uh, I'm a decent player on PS3, but it's not like... Like, if you want to see good guys on PS3, go see AOB or LOD or SNM. Those guys are so baller, you don't even know. Like, people say that PS3 does not have good players. Go look at those teams, okay? And, okay, look at this right here. Okay, Catfish with a Sega, but he, do he doesn't have the angle on us. Like, he can't shoot us. He doesn't have the degree of range to actually hit us so we're hiding into the ladder all right bro we gotta do this bro are you ready bro he jumped out get up the ladder oh he shoves me off the ladder then he gets up he tries to knife my compadre give me your sandwich you got him look at that oh nice you are so cool bro Sidon. way to go he got him and we we move forward that was that was so epic at the time i don't know if i can accurately describe it to you guys as i got this bush monster here but I was so motivated as soon as he did that. Like, you just knifed that guy after he tried to knife you while you were on a ladder. That is 
That is legitimately awesome, if you ask me. And give me all that much. And yes, I am going to arm the charge here, but I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Because like you know, it was just like, I'm thinking about it now like I was thinking about it then. I was very, very wary of, of how great my teammates were, how bad my teammates were, rather. And pff, after after using the UMP, and I do get the guy, pff, nice one, M416, but I do get the guy with the UMP. We got that old mutual kill, but can I just say, the UMP is straight up easy mode, if you ask me. It, it is so incredibly good. Like, I don't know why I would... Yes, to an extent, yes, the iron sights are not the best, but at the same time, the hip fire is so amazing. You rare, Not that you really need the iron sights, but I don't know why I even bother using any other SMG when it's this good. Like, it is just so amazing. And, you see, this is what I love right here. Just, pff, it kills so quickly. It's got that, okay, it's got a moderately large clip size, right? Or magazine size. Please do not freak out on me. Bro, 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 chacho, bra. It is clearly a magazine. It is not a clip. Clips are only in Garands and meow, 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 meow. Well, I'm sorry that I didn't know. And I know a lot of you are probably going to get mad at me, but it's at the same time, it's like, you know what? The RPG only kills someone if you direct impact them. So whenever I use the RPG, almost primarily as like the main weapon that I'm using back here, duh, in the words of Justin Timberlake, cry me a river. It's like, you know what? It's not, I don't know why you would be offended. I don't know why you would be so offended if I if I use the RPG and I direct impact people to kill them. I don't know why so many of you... Like, I heard a lot of you saying that you don't like it when I kill someone out in the open. Like, when when, he, when the guy's behind a wall and you got some catfish, like, right there. Are you mad about that? Are you mad, brah? Are you jelly, brah? Hopefully not. But I, I think I think this is mostly from PC players as well. For some reason, you guys have something against uh, killing somebody when they're in the open. Like, it's almost like Gustav spam anywhere, like they're out in the open, but if they're behind a wall, it's acceptable to kill them that way. So, if you guys don't mind, please tell me what you think of what is cheap and what is not in terms of rockets and so forth. And, uh, one and two, uh, double kill, right there. And I'm gonna go, go outside and, uh, uh you ready? Uh, running riot, as I get this, oh, I get mowed down. Oh, uh, you ready for me? Uh, the joke's on you, bro. You got C4. Look at that. That's that's what you get for being so rude. You know what, Sega Man? You are such a catfish. You know what? I will smash your face into a car windshield and then take your mother out, Dorothy Catfish, for a nice seafood dinner and never call her ever again. That's how I feel about you. But you know what? It's better just to not hate on the Sega catfish or the USAS catfish so much. I mean, let them do their own thing. There are ways to outsmart them, such as just staying back, like, staying back, like, uh, pff, exploiting the range or the lack of range that they have, or just play Vietnam, because they didn't have auto shotties back in Nam. Now, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys next time, and I have three gameplays that you guys, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the choice. Okay, would you like to see a G3 on Atacama, an SV-98, where I switched to the T-88 on Island Ascentes, or the M95 on Rika Harbor? Please let me know. I will see you guys next time. Out feeder Zane and Bisbalt, and don't be a trickster with a Sega or Usas, or Gustav. But I will see you later. Goodbye.